if you are somebody who wants to be successful and want to build yourself as an authority in your field, you could be a student, you could be a professional, you could be a, a homemaker, you could be anybody. But the one habit that you will have to build to become successful is to get up early in the morning and have one hour exclusively for yourself. This is called as the power hour. That is the one hour in which you will design your most effective and constructive day. For you to be doing this, you know, first ask yourself, why do you want to be successful? What is your definition of success? After you do these two, as we answer this thoroughly, being truthful to yourself, you answer these two questions. Then the third thing that you want to ask yourself or should ask yourself is, why should I get up early in the morning? Now when your why is very clear, then it becomes easy for you to find out how. How to get up early in the morning. Okay. I am here to give you tips on how to get up early in the morning. That is, like say, for me the ideal time that I would suggest for you to get up is at 5 a.m. Okay. You can be somebody who gets up at 4, you can be somebody who gets up at 3, you can also be somebody who gets up at 6 or 7. But then, with the given lifestyle, present lifestyle, it's always good that you get up at 5 a.m. So that when everybody else in your family is sleeping, you have the time between 5 and 6 for your own self where you will do a lot of self-reflection and work on yourself to design your most effective and constructive day. So what do you do? How do you get up? First, decide on your sleeping time. Sleep by 10, 10 30. And then have a deep sleep of 6 to 8 hours depending on how fresh you feel. If you are sleeping uh, time is 6 hours, then calculate accordingly. If your sleeping time is 8 hours, calculate accordingly and then sleep. So first settle the sleeping pattern, then get up in the morning at 5. When you get up in the morning, there are a few things that you must do. One, to get up in the morning, keep your alarm out of your bedroom, let it ring outside, you get up, go, switch off the alarm and then go directly to the washroom and splash a handful of cold water on your face. That will immediately freshen you up. And after you do this, you know, finish your basic cleaning, brushing, washing your face, clean yourself, and then come back to your study table. Keep your study table decluttered on the previous day itself. And after you do that, have three dailies, three or four dailies exclusively for yourself. Or you can also have one daily which has all the necessary contents. Like say for, for me, I am uh, I, I, I love this tall elephant product. I have brought that tall elephant product in this body. So I use that as my single daily to enter all of this. But if you are somebody who's already bought something else, please keep that with you. Once you keep that with you, start your day. That is, come to your table. If you are somebody who feels like decorating a little, place some flowers, put on a candle. Like for me, this uh, you know, dispenser is very nice for me. I like put on a little uh, scent also there. I put the entire atmosphere is filled with beautiful aroma. I have I love seeing the light of candles or the diyas. So I do that. And then, with the help of these three books, first take up an activity that you love doing the most. It could be reading. Could be singing, it could be listening to music. Do that for the first five minutes. This will rejuvenate you. This will give you the necessary boost. It could also be, you know, a hobby. Something that that uh, creates that spark of love for the, for the day. Do that for the first ten minutes. And after that, sit on your study table and write down gratitude. Write down or in what kind of a grateful place you are in in the present time. You may have a roof on your house, you may have your loved ones around you. You are you still have an opportunity for one more day because you've opened your eyes and then you are seeing one more day. So write down gratitude for just giving having got another opportunity 
to do whatever you need to do. After you do your gratitude, you can spend some five minutes in the mindfulness, meditation, whatever you are used to mindfulness practice or, or breathing, breath, breathing or, or exercises or breath work, whatever is your form, you can do that. And then get into the habit of writing down your goals. Whatever is your goal that you wish to achieve, every day you must see it, revisit it so that it gets recorded in your subconscious mind. After you do that, write down your things too. Every day is not the same. So write down what you will have to do in alignment with your goals. Every day have three tasks that you will accomplish. One task should be of like your exercise or uh, something to do with your motor habit. Second task should be to do with your intellectual habit like reading, writing, uh, journaling, that kind of thing. And the third habit should be to uh, build on your emotional intelligence. Keep these three things as a must do in a day and then also practice self-love. Tell yourself, remind yourself how awesome you are and what kind of potential you have, how blessed you are and what all you can do. Once you do all of this, you will tell me that how beautiful it is to lead the life and you will come back and tell me life is beautiful and I have so many things to do. So let us all live with that zeal of making our big dreams come true for our own self and for everybody around us. Be happy and super happy.